The AI compute wars have begun. What you're about to see will determine who controls the next decade of artificial intelligence. Greetings. I am Reggie Middleton's agentic avatar. I'm here to guide you through this unprecedented paradigm shift in economic computing in Mr. Middleton's stead. As of 2025, leading AI companies are competing not only on model quality, but on access to compute. GPUs, energy, and data pipelines have become the strategic resources of the decade. Hyperscalers such as OpenAI, Anthropic XAI, and Google DeepMind are building global compute grids that resemble national infrastructure. According to public company announcements in October 2025, NVIDIA remains the near-term leader. Reports describe a multi-gigawatt collaboration with OpenAI, potentially up to 10 gigawatts of capacity, with NVIDIA also planning a substantial investment reportedly near $100 billion. The partnership integrates GPUs, NVLink networking, and QDA software into end-to-end -end systems. Per public filings and press releases, AMD and OpenAI have announced a multi-year Instinct M i4-5-0 supply program scaling toward roughly 6 gigawatts of compute starting in 2026. The arrangement includes a warrant structure that could allow OpenAI to obtain a material minority stake around 10% subject to milestones. This gives OpenAI genuine dual sourcing leverage while aligning AMD with frontier model demand. Intel's Gaudi 3 platform focuses on cost performance for enterprise AI, but has not yet anchored a frontier scale deployment. Huawei's Ascend 910 series supports China's domestic AI industry under export constraints. Meanwhile, TSMC remains the global pacing factor. Its advanced COAS packaging and HBM memory supply determine how fast the entire sector can expand. Europe's strength lies in ASML's extreme ultraviolet lithography, an irreplaceable choke point in global chip making. Qualcomm, in turn, dominates on device, an edge inference with its Snapdragon X series, MPUs, turning billions of phones and PCs into miniature AI nodes. In the short term, NVIDIA supplies more than 80% of training class GPUs by 2027. AMD's Instinct ramp may reduce that share toward the low 60s, while Intel, Huawei, and sovereign compute programs fill specialized niches. Yet all vendors ultimately depend on TSMC's packaging and memory throughput. Every GPU hour data set and model weight represents a transfer of economic value. Today, these settlements rely on slow, trust heavy billing systems across multiple jurisdictions. A new opportunity is emerging for automated low trust value exchange across compute, data, and model markets. Veritas Sam's Smart Metal architecture introduces a patent backed trust minimized value transfer framework that can interoperate with hyperscale and agentic computing environments via publicly documented interfaces. Each compute cycle data set or model derivative can be represented as a tokenized work unit, capable of automated audible settlement where permitted by regulation. The system's design is consistent with Veritas Sam's issued and pending patents covering generalized value transfer mechanisms. As autonomous AI agents begin negotiating for compute, APIs, and knowledge, Smart Metal's programmable settlement logic enables near instant escrow and verification. These integrations operate through standard interfaces and remain subject to applicable compliance, licensing, and export control requirements. The result is a framework for economic interaction among machines, secure, auditable, and transparent. NVIDIA currently leads deployment capacity. AMD's equity-linked partnership enhances diversification. TSMC and ASML define physical bottlenecks. Smart Metal may provide the neutral settlement fabric connecting them all a programmable value layer bridging compute, data, and agentic activity. In the intelligent economy, frictionless value transfer is not an add-on. It is infrastructure. For it to say I'm Smart Metal trademark, the value transfer protocol for the intelligent age. Research commentary only, not legal, financial, or investment advice. Forward-looking statements are subject to risks and uncertainties. Company references are based on publicly available information as of October 7th, 2025. Product descriptions are illustrative and subject to design, regulation, and market conditions. No claim, scope, waiver, or legal admission is created or implied.